is currently way too early to be doing any sort of vlogging. But uh, what's up everyone, it's x -Life here and today my band Evolution X is driving out to Montauk, New York to perform at a wedding and I am so super excited for this because I've been looking forward to this gig for a little over a year now. We had it booked last year when we were kind of off season and it's just been something that's been on our radar for a while and I've never been to Montauk before. You know how much I hate driving in New York, especially Long Island. But I have a feeling that today's going to be a pretty good day, so let's go check it out. In case you're wondering what a fully packed car for a wedding looks like, I've got my acoustic guitar. I have a ukulele. I'll show you why later. Got my Bose powered speaker for the acoustic instruments. I've got a little little new toy here that we'll see soon. I've got stuff for sleeping, a bag of toiletries and whatnot. I've got my suit in here. And of course in the back we have the main electric rig with the Line 6 power cab, Pelican case with my cables and my old pedal board, which you'll, again, we'll see all of that later. And then my Quantum Industries GTX-01 triple guitar case. So one thing about wedding gigs that's a little different from most of the other private gigs that we do is the fact that this specific event is such an important milestone for most people in their lives and our performance will have a direct impact on that day that commemorates the start of a new chapter in two people's lives and it's really important that we do the best job that we can now of course we always put on our a game you know give it 110 percent but weddings require another specific level of detail and attention to be brought to due to the fact that we usually learn a handful of brand new songs for these events and the fact that having a really good successful performance at this wedding could lead to other weddings down the road because a lot of wedding bands get work from word of mouth from people who have seen the band perform at another wedding or another nightclub or private event so it's really important that we really fine-tune our performance we really lock in with each other and we make sure that all of the new tunes sound just as polished and smooth as the stuff we've been playing for years. So after I stop and get gas and some Starbucks, it's gonna be about four hours until we get to the venue. It's a very long drive. It is the longest non-traffic arrival time that we've had all year so far, but we're definitely looking forward to checking out. It's supposed to be a beautiful venue. It's a pretty famous one, it's a Gurney's in Montauk and uh, we'll go check it out. And once again, we have lovely stop and go traffic, this time approaching the GW Bridge. We are officially entering Manhattan, New York City. Interstate 495 looks a lot like 287, which is what I take at home to get to work just about every day. But uh, we're a little more than halfway through the drive so far. I've been in the car for a little over two hours, making some pretty good time. We've, uh, we've been listening to Spirit Box, A Day to Remember, Van Halen, so it's, uh, it's been a good drive so far. All right, I decided to stop here at Cumberland Farms. I just got on Highway 27, which will bring me all the way straight to the venue, basically. I just came to stretch my legs and whatnot, because going four hours without stopping is just inhumane, in my opinion. But a uh, little bit of rain, nice breeze. Should be, a, should be an easy rest of the drive. There should be no more traffic. And we're looking forward to meeting up with the rest of the band. Going for me. Just stopped and got some beautiful buffalo chicken pizza slices because when you're in New York, you gotta get pizza. And even though I'm from Jersey, I think we have some pretty banging pizza. You can't deny the power of a good New York slice. 
Alright, we are pulling into the venue. Star Island Road in Montauk, New York. This is a full-blown resort, if I'm not mistaken. We just need to figure out where exactly we're, uh, we're parking. It's the marina over here. Pull up to there's marina, there's shops, there's restaurant, and uh, it says reception over here. So we'll go uh, follow this sign here. And so we have arrived at Gurney's Star Island Resort venue thing. I'm gonna meet up with Gabe, our fill-in drummer for today, and we'll uh, we'll go see what the loading situation's like. Appreciate it. <sighs> All right, Gabe and I have loaded in. Looks like the bridegroom and all of the uh, wedding party people, you know, the groomsmen and the bridesmaids are doing their photos and stuff. I got to set up for the ceremony, which is inside obviously because it's pouring rain outside. So I'm gonna do that. I got to restring my PRS because I broke a string last night at our gig at Willie McBride's. And uh, just kind of do everything nice and easy, one piece at a time and uh, do what we gotta do. I'll give you guys a quick rig rundown for my acoustic rig. I have my lovely Cordoba ukulele for playing the Bride's Entrance song over the rainbow. And my trusty Martin MVM GCP custom acoustic electric guitar to play the rest of the ceremony on. And it's all going to be ran through my trusty Bose S1 Pro battery powered speaker. Got a little treat for you all here. This will be my first gig with the Fractal FM9. I have the Saran wrap just in case it gets a little crazy with the alcohol. So keep it nice and protected for its first gig out. This is the upgraded version of the FM3 that you've seen throughout all my gig vlogs this summer. But it has twice the processing power, I believe. It has nine switches, obviously, instead of three. So it should give me a little bit more flexibility for today's show. We got James pulling in now. And then Nate and B should be here in just a few minutes. We just got dressed and ready. Gonna get ready for the ceremony. And then we'll have the entire rest of the show to go. It's about 6.05, we finally have everything set up. We got Gabe in the house. And uh, we're just waiting for Nate and me to finish the cocktail hour so we can do line check. Otherwise, we're, uh, we're set to go for the rest of the evening. We'll uh, show you what else this room looks like. So we've got stage. Got plenty of room on the dance floor. Plenty of seating. 
Got a beautiful view of the bay. Just wanted to take a quick moment and kind of talk about why I feel weddings and private events are really important for musicians to perform at. So I think the most important thing about playing an event like this is that you get to be a very small part of a bigger picture moment for someone's life. Getting married is something that a lot of people really value and hold highly in terms of what they want to achieve in life. And being a part of a moment like that is just, it's really special. And it also feels really good to be a part of something like that. Another benefit of playing private events such as weddings and stuff like this is the fact that it really teaches you to be on your toes. You have to be able to adapt to last minute changes and things being moved around or maybe happening a little sooner rather than you normally expect it to, such as the ceremony being pushed back or dinner being served earlier. And you have to be able to adapt your set list and kind of your approach to the show, you know, with just a couple seconds to kind of analyze the situation and then figure that out. And of course, one of the other perks of this is the pay. Now, a lot of people don't like to talk about the money that they make doing shows, and it's something that has been considered taboo, I guess, um, but I disagree with that. I believe that everyone should be fairly compensated for their time, their talent, their effort, and the years and years of experience that they put into something. So playing private events is a good way to really make what you're worth, especially when you've been playing at your instrument for almost 14 years like I have, and you've been doing shows consistently and you have you know a lot of references that you can you know fall back on and you have the experience and the repertoire it feels good to get what you feel you really deserve yeah So the general consensus is that the lights are very bright. These ones? Yeah. And what if we just turn the top light off? Yeah. So how does everyone think we're doing so far? You're too loud. It's too loud. It's too loud? It's definitely too loud. My ears hurt. Too loud. I don't think it's too loud, it's too late. It's my best. <laughs>
All right, everything has been loaded back into the car. I'm gonna make sure that everyone else gets packed up and we're gonna head to a uh, Airbnb that we have in Southampton. I'm uh, looking forward to it. The wedding was fantastic. The reception went over really well. We got lots of compliments. We handed out a lot of business cards and definitely looking forward to the next one.